Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, go ahead and subscribe and activate the notifications by clicking on that bell icon before, below. By now you know I'm a huge Pablo Picasso fan and we are continuing with this series on the horses that were part of his art. Like I said, there is a book dedicated just to the iconography of horses in his paintings. So I'll be reading experts from here while I show you some of the paintings in which he incorporated horses in. Pablo Picasso, he lived in a world that we have not forgotten despite its being so close to us in time, in which the horse was part of everyone's daily life. The use of the horse as an animal intimately linked to man as an essential aid in war and as a working tool in times of peace dates back to antiquity. And Picasso experienced the last moments of the civilization of the horse even though in the 19th century it is still estimated that in the countryside there were eight horses to every 100 inhabitants and many more in the city. So a fun fact, I actually learned how to ride the horse before I learned how to ride the bicycle. I grew up with horses so the bike wasn't as interesting to me as riding a horse was. So I, will, I was a lot way older when I finally started riding a bike. With such a subject and the possibilities that it opened up, Picasso operated on three levels. Respect for the reality of the horse, whatever the world in which it lived, or work, the humanization of the animal, and in particular the fusion between the woman and the horse, and, and finally the revival of Greek mythology in which the horse appears at different times endowed with magical powers, both when maintaining its own identity and when transformed into an imaginary animal such as the Pegasus. So today we're drawing another horse, sketching another horse, and it's going to be super simple, super easy, it's going to take like no time. So grab your pencils, I will grab my Sharpie. So this one's going to be looking up. So we'll start with the eye, which you'll do like a line, horizontal line, and then underneath will be like the eye, and then above it you just make like the eyelid type thing. Obviously these are not realistic in any way, it's just like a fast, easy, figurative sketch. And then a straight line for the mouth. You're going to go up, and then you're going to go below, but a little bit behind. And then you're going to bring this down for his head, and then this one above. Right past the eye, and then it has like a little triangle for the ear. And then you're going to bring this down for his neck, also on this other side. Once you get here, you're going to bring extend this line out. You're going to pause and then kind of like curve it a little bit to create the knee and then bring it back down. And then you come about right here and bring another line down. And then we have to draw the other side of this leg. so. Start here, and then as you come down, make sure you go in smaller, and then a little bit past this one. And then the other side. Like I said, these are really easy. So here for the belly, just a smiley face. You're going to bring this across from his back, down for his buttocks, and then the tail. Bring it down, bring it in, then out, and down, and then in, and down. And then you curve right here for his other leg, and then come down, but as you come down, you're going to curve out. And then align a little backward L for the hoof, and then we'll do in the back leg. So here you're going to create an X. Then you're going to come in and out, but as you're coming in, you're going to curve in. But then, once you get to this point, you're going to come down, but as you're coming down, you're going to bring that line in. And then on this side, you bring the line down to create the other leg. It actually, it comes about, it's right here. It's even with the other one. But you can make it your own. You can add the hoof, not add it. Picasso didn't add it on his. And that's actually it. That's a very, very simple sketch. Now I'm going to add some paint to it to make the lines a little bit thicker because I feel they're a little thin. And I think it adds a little bit of character if there's like difference in width and line. 
So I just have black paint mixed with water to make it a little bit more workable. So then now I'm just going to trace the lines I made with the Sharpie with this angled brush. And not all of them, just some of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let the paint drip on this part, that way it kind of creates a mane. The Cosmos didn't have a mane, but I think I want mine to have one. And then for the tail as well. So you can add as much as you want, like I say, you can make it your own, you can even add maybe an imaginary, like a, a line to make the ground. It's really up to you how much or how little you want to do. But anyway, that's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed this drawing tutorial. It was very simple, very easy. And if you haven't watched the first one I did, go ahead and watch that. Make sure to subscribe and also watch all the other content in my channel. And until next time, adios y bye.